Hello, this is Professor Zaman. Welcome to Hassan Zaman Educational Video Series. This video is in our DC circuit series. In this video, we will talk about Kirchhoff's voltage law or KVL, which is a very important law solving electrical circuits. Let's begin. So this is called Kirchhoff's voltage law, in short KVL. According to this law, the sum of voltage drops and rises around a closed path or circuit is zero. Or it says around a closed loop, sum of all voltage drops and rises equal to zero. You have to remember one thing though. In writing this equation, you have to consider either the drop or the rise as positive. If you consider the drop as positive, then rise will be negative. Or if you consider the rise as positive, then the drop will be negative. Let's explain that with an example. So we have a voltage source. Resistance. Another voltage source. This is 6 volt, 2 volt. So in this circuit, we have two voltage sources. I think this is the first time we are seeing such a circuit. But it's possible you can have multiple voltage sources in the circuit. Another new thing here we are seeing, two grounds. This is the first time we are seeing this. Actually, I did this on purpose so you get used to it. Actually, this is nothing different than what we learned before. So, because the purpose of these grounds, as we learned before, they make the voltage zero at this node and at this node. But previously, we had only one ground, so that node voltage was zero. This is still the same, node voltage will be zero and here will be zero. But apparently, this does not look like a circuit because it starts here and here does not close the loop but a circuit by definition has to have a closed loop for current to flow but actually this is closed even though it doesn't look like this so so the, current, the reason is the grounds are actually connected consider they are connected with very low resistance path zero resistance so actually this is connected through the ground so in this case if a current flows this way that will go this way then go into the ground and come back out of the ground here so in this case we will have current through the ground that's the only difference from what we learned before and previously there was no current to or from the ground here we are having current either to or from ground in, at both ground nodes because this ground is completing the circuit so we can go back to our previous structure. This is electrically equivalent to our previous circuit design where we had just one ground and it's closed circuit. So voltage here is 0 volt. So electrically they are equivalent because the voltages across all the elements and all currents will still be the same. The only difference is now there is no current to or from ground here but in other circuit there was current flowing through ground so i guess that's a good thing to know and so if you see that you don't get thrown off by that so let's try to solve this circuit using Kirchhoff's voltage law or kvl in writing kvl as it shows here you have to consider only voltage drops or rises nothing else you do not write any node voltage. For example, you have a zero volt here. That doesn't come into the equation. Equations in the equation, you only write voltage drops and rises. And a couple of things you have to remember. They are easy to remember. For first thing, you have, you have to start at a node. For example, this is a node. This is a node. This is a node. So all the points where two or more elements are connected, we call a node. So this is a node. Now this node is not like 
there are not there are not many nodes here there is just one node here so this zero volt node is ground node actually the whole thing is the zero volt node or ground node again here the whole connection is one node we do not think there is one node here or one node here or one node here similarly there is one node here only and one node here you have to start at a node you do not start at a component a new student might be tempted to think um, I will start at the source or this resistance that will be wrong you have to start at a node and, and then you have to go either clockwise or counterclockwise doesn't matter either way you will get the same equation I don't know the voltage the V prime using KVL we can find this out so we start from a node ground node here go clockwise as we cross any element or any component where there is a difference of voltage you have to write it down drops or rise so as you are going here you are going from minus to plus so is it a voltage drop or rise it's a rise you know that because voltage is rising this way 0 volt here voltage at this node is 12 volt so we write plus 12 now here we are going from plus to minus so it is a drop since you wrote the rise as positive we have to write this as negative minus 2 then you cross this element here again we are going from plus to minus so this is a drop again so minus 6 and what about here we have again plus to minus which another drop so minus b prime and we come back to the same node the ground node so we have completed our loop there is nothing else to write here okay so we write equal to zero so that's the zero this is KVL equation or Kirchhoff's voltage law equation if we solve this, we find B prime 12 minus 8 4 volt. Now, if we had started at a different node, just to see you all the variations, would the result be different? No. Suppose we start here. Okay, so we go, and we let's say we go counterclockwise just for a variation so if you start here go this way what is the thing is it rise or drop going from minus to plus so it's a rise so now it's a rise plus 6 here minus to plus rise plus 2 here plus to minus now we haven't finished the loop yet because we started here we are just here now so we have to go across this here again it is minus 2 plus so it's a rise plus b prime equal to 0 we have completed the loop and if you solve for b prime same answer let's now begin uh, here and go clockwise but we will write rises as negative this time and drops as positive so this is plus to minus a drop but this time we are writing drops as positive okay. this is again drop plus to minus we write it positive plus 6 this is again drop we write it positive we write as positive and now we have come to the ground node but we haven't completed the loop because we started here we have to complete the loop so we have to go across this this time this is minus 2 plus which is rise in many cases you have to use KVL to solve circuits now let's look at little variation and you might be asked to find the voltage across it nothing is given in that case you have to assume a voltage first say assume 1 whatever you call it and what about the polarity? You can assume it any way you want. You can put plus on the top side or the bottom side. Only difference would be one way the voltage will be positive, other way 
what is it be negative let's put plus on the bottom side now and minus on the top side so I start from here this is rise plus 12 minus 2 minus 6 and here this is minus 2 plus it's a rise actually it's not a drop so plus v1 and I'm writing equal to 0 because we have come back to the ground mode where we started what is the answer now v1 is equal to minus 4 volt so same answer as what we got before only difference is now with the minus and that happened because we assumed plus at the bottom side that basically is same our assumption was not correct we assumed the higher voltage will be at the bottom side and lower voltage will be at the top side that didn't happen the answer came out as negative and actually the voltage is higher on the upper side and lower on the lower side but that does not mean you have to change the polarity you can leave it like this you are fine you will get the full points no teacher can take away any points from your solution so black box you are told to find the voltage across it it's still the same procedure you don't change anything you have to assume a voltage let's assume v2 and you have to assume a polarity let's say this time we assume plus on the upper side and minus on the lower side and if you start writing equation from the node ground node you go clockwise then it will be plus 12 minus 2 minus 6 then minus v2 because it's a drop and answer will be v2 is equal to 4 volt So you don't actually have to know what is inside a black box. You can solve the voltage across it using KVL. So let's look at a couple more examples. The interesting thing is KVL is actually applicable even to a path where there is open circuit or no current flow. So suppose you are asked to find out what is V2, how you do it. Then start here and come this way. I know this voltage, this voltage, this voltage. I don't know this voltage. But actually, you do not need to know the voltage, this voltage. Why? It's not given here, but you can find this out using Ohm's law. What is the current here? Is it possible for any current to flow here? Is it possible the current to go this way and vanish into emptiness? No, it's not possible. It has to have a closed path for a current to flow here so it can come back. There is no closed path here. The current through this resistance is zero. According to Ohm's law, the voltage across the resistor is V is equal to I times R. And I is zero here. So that means voltage across this is Zero volt. Zero volt. And it doesn't matter if you write plus this side or on this side because it's zero volt. It's not going to change anything. And we are going to find out V2. So we will take this path, this closed path. We are going to start here 12 plus 12 minus 2 minus 6. Here minus 0. Here we are going from plus to minus, that means it's a drop, minus V2 and we have come back to the ground mode. So we will write equal to 0, that will keep V2 is equal to 12 minus 10 minus 6, 4, 4 volt. Okay, so it came out as 4 volt. We could have found it another way, that is Remember we found this V1 to be 4 volt. If we apply KVL here, it comes out as 4 volt. So this answer 
was found by applying this loop using this loop. Now if you can also apply KVL in this loop. Again, there is no connection here, but you can still apply KVL. So let's begin here. You go this uh, V1 is rise 4 volt plus 4. Let's write V, just write 4 means the voltage. Now here is minus 0, it is minus V2 equal to 0 because you have come back to the starting node and that will give us V2 is equal to 4 volt. Same answer that we got here. So this is an interesting thing to notice that you have a choice why you will apply KVL and you only apply here so your solution takes the minimum effort. If you already know this voltage, it's better to apply in this loop because it's a smaller, shorter equation. Sometimes in writing the voltage equation, you can also find current. So let's take an example. You have to find the current, source current. Now we can write KVL to find this current. So let's start with the ground node and go clockwise. We know the current that is flowing here I is also flowing here because no current is going this way. The current is flowing this way, so downward here. So again, drop will happen this way. So I'm going to put plus here, minus here. So we start here and go this way, plus 12. Now there is a voltage drop here. So minus. How much is the drop? It's not given. So you have to find out using Ohm's law. You know, what is the drop is given by? I times R, current times what? Resistance. Current is I. Resistance is 5 ohm, so it will be 5 i. Okay, now here it is a drop minus 6 and this is again drop minus again Ohm's law. So 10 times i is 10 i and we have completed the loop. So we write equal to 0. So that will give us so I will be 6 by 15 ampere, 0.4 ampere. So we found current using KVL. This is a very important technique. We use it very often. Now if you have to find V2, what will be V2? You have to apply KVL again in a loop. It could be this loop or this loop. But this will be smaller, so let's apply this way. So if you start here, this is a rise, so I'm going to write plus. How did the drop? It's a rise actually, 10 times i, 10 i. And this is like before, no current here. So this is 0 volt. Minus 0 minus V2 so what is I? I is 0.4 so that means 0.4 times 10, 4 volt so we found this voltage using KVL this is really useful actually and we will be using KVL in future to solve more complicated circuits Thank you for watching. Bye.